Have you impatiently waited for a customer to walk through the door? Feeling anxiety and depression because business is so slow. I remember it was so bad one December that I walked to the front of my store and I opened the door and I looked up and down the sidewalk. And my once busy town was a ghost town. We have had a challenging year. Many businesses have been hit with unexpected downturns. But I want you to know that you are not alone. That I too have been hit with many unexpected downturns. Because there's a lot of things that are out of your control in the outside world. But I want to let you know that you can take control. You can take control of your business. And through this workshop, I'm going to show you ways that you can take control of your business. Several years ago, I went through, uh, my business was hit with three fourth quarters in a row where the street was tore up. When I first opened in 2012, I knew that they were doing some construction on the street, but it was supposed to be finished. And so I had a lot of build out cost. I had to re redo the whole inside. But I thought by the time I finished that, they're scheduled to be finished with the construction. I thought, great, I'll be open just in time because I took over a cafe, had lots of business. There had been lots of you know, traffic on the street. I was a regular customer of that cafe. So I thought, great, I know the customer base. I know the area. I know, you know, who I can attract. I felt pretty, pretty good about the situation. But that construction project kept going on and going on. So by, it was supposed to be finished by the end of October. But by mid-November, they were still going on. And I had to open. I was paying rent. I had all that equipment to pay off. So I opened and it was a challenge. That project lasted, that construction project lasted until April. You can imagine it was very hard to bring back business after all that time. I mean, I was even a new cafe, a new business. But that was the first time. The second time, we had worked hard all summer to bring back business and we started to see things happening. But then there was a sidewalk project, new sidewalks for the whole town. And I thought, oh, okay, well, sidewalks, that's a good thing. And it's cement, it shouldn't take too long. Well, I was wrong. Um, that project lasted months, lasted months. It lasted like three or four months. Again, through the whole fourth quarter, the entire fourth quarter was, the sidewalks were ripped up. After the second time the road was ripped up, we lost five businesses on Main Street. And two of them were the anchor retailers. The main reason why people came to that retail area. The remaining businesses were hit very hard. It took us months to bring back traffic, to, to draw people in, to give them a reason to come back to downtown. And we worked hard all spring, all summer, and then we planned a big to-do. And we had, for our holiday time, we had, we had ads in the paper, we did social media, we hit our email list. We were really pushing a big to-do for our fourth quarter. But again, the street was ripped up. Now, fortunately, it was only two weeks. But those two weeks happened to be through Black Friday and the first week of December, totally messing up our holiday celebration week. 
you are going to find that you'll have disruptions, you'll have uncontrollable events. But each time that I had those events happen to me, I had to use creativity and resourcefulness to find ways to pivot and add new models to save my business. And through that process and the process I learned through those, those hard times, I will teach you and guide you through that in this workshop. First, we're gonna cover some different business models. And we're gonna start on that right now.